Misery South Africa was founded in 1989. We realized even then that geographic information system technology could help improve society and our communities. Working with others who share this passion, we were encouraged by the vast possibilities of GIS. Passionate business partner Swift Geospatial provides a geospatial solution for plantation and forestry monitoring. The SWIFT team have designed and implemented an online portal capable of providing a proactive forestry monitoring solution for forestry plantations. Senior remote sensing specialist Niyasha Muradiwa of SWIFT Geospatial will now take us through the tree count management solution. Thanks for that introduction, Varusha, and welcome everyone to our seminar. You're quite right when you hinted at how geoinformation technology is just expanding every day. And we need to take advantage of this to help make better, faster decisions in all industries. In the forestry industry in particular, which we'll be touching on today, where we've been working for quite a while now, we see that it is more important for people to make more proactive rather than reactive decisions which is why we already offer our clients a forestry monitoring solution that gives them access to satellite imagery that is captured over all their compartments, that is captured either daily, weekly, monthly, or whichever repeat time actually works best for the management system that the client is working on. And on top of just imagery, we also provide them with analysis for activities taking place in their compartments, such as harvesting, as well as a health analysis of the trees within those compartments. And this helps them keep track of if there is a problem within a compartment, they are able to get to it fast enough before it spreads. And with harvesting, this also helps them pick up fishy situations that are taking place, such as illegal logging that might be occurring and they're not aware of it because you're monitoring over time and you have a harvesting schedule. And if we report and we say, hey, we're picking up harvesting of so much in compartment ABC, and that wasn't in your plans for that week, you are able then to go and see what is happening there and take the right action. But what I'm going to talk about today is the tree count application which looks at the tree auditing side of forestry management, where we're saying we see that satellite imagery is a versatile data source to supplement other applications such as drone technology and tree scouting that are already being used for counting purposes. And the reason why we say satellite imagery is versatile is because you are able to have one snapshot of all of your compartments all at once and you also have the ability to go back in time if you need to check oh let's see what this compartment looked like in year one for example you can go back in time and check for that and uh, the reason why we actually started to look at this was that we were getting various questions that were being asked by our clients where they wanted to know, is there a way for us to find out how many of our planted trees have established compared to the number of trees that we think we've planted? And did our planting actually occur correctly or were there gaps within the planting that took place? As well as what is the health of each tree? Is it possible to pick that up? And uh, especially with your young trees, this is very important because at a young age, they are more susceptible to pests and disease. And if you don't catch it in time, you then end up, you might possibly lose the whole compartment. So by being able to pinpoint the health of each tree, you can then pinpoint where the problem is and people can go rectify it faster. And this is all very possible by making use of these technologies which as you can see here are some screenshots of what uh, some of the results and they're endless results, but these are some of the results that you can actually get to answer those questions where you can count your very small trees as well as your much larger trees. You can get the health of each um, tree as well as gap analysis of where your trees were supposed to be and you can extrapolate to see 
where the missing trees were supposed to be and how the rows are supposed to look like. So now what I'm going to take you through today briefly is just a look at um, some of the lessons learned on this uh, technology integration and how we think you can actually get success in using these technologies and what what else you can use to put together to make your decisions better and a lot faster. The first thing that we're going to tackle is the imagery itself. Now I said we should make use of satellite imagery, but not all satellite imagery is equal. For this detailed analysis, you cannot make use of medium or low resolution satellite imagery. Reason is, there is not much detail that you can pick up. There is too much pixelation and the detail is not enough. You need to see the detail to be able to count it, which is why we say make use of high resolution imagery. The higher the better actually. And as you can see in the example here, we made use of the 30 centimeter Worldview 3 data set from Digital Globe. And you can see how the detail is crisp and clear from your very young trees in the first image, right up to your bigger trees that are before canopy closure. So you see, you can actually track your trees from let's say six months when they start to, to show after planting, right up to maybe a year later and maybe three years later, you are able to keep track periodically. If you decide that you don't want to use satellite imagery, and you say you already have your drone imagery and you have your aerial imagery, we suggest that you please just make sure that your imagery is multispectral. That is, it's not RGB. You actually have four band and up. So you have your near infrared band there as well as your red edge, which are the bands that you can actually add. Reason being, you need to then for the next steps of making use of this crop science module from Envy, you need to actually then be able to get a spectral index that works best to make your trees stand out more than the background. Speaking of this, let me illustrate with an example. This is the tree enhancement part of the crop science module where you will have to work with different spectral indices to get the right one that makes your trees pop out a lot more than the background. In the scenario to your left, that's not ideal because you can see there is a bit of oversaturation in the spectral index that was chosen here because your trees are a bit more mature. And for example, if you use an NDVI, uh, they, that is not going to work for your mature trees because they are not standing out as much. In the situation to your right, this is what you want. Your trees are popping up so much more in the background, you'll be able to count them very easily. Then the next step is that you need to then be able to optimize the parameters that are going to be used in the machine learning process. You're going to need to know things such as what is the diameter of the smallest trees that you have in your satellite scene compared to the largest crowns that you have as well as when your trees are getting closer to canopy closure they start to overlap a bit so you need to understand how much overlap is actually allowable for you to not then double count trees and thus reduce your accuracy then there are other things such as what is the intensity of the pixels that are in your trees. So you need to put all this together and at the end of the day, you then get your final result where the base result actually is your trees and then you have the count as with the image on the left. And then you can also then perform a wide range of uh, spectral indices and other uh, GIS um, queries to find out other things about your, your individual trees. So in the example here, if you run something such as um, NDVI, for example, you can see that the darker green 
is where your plant figure is quite good and then as we go towards the red those are the plants that are actually suffering a bit more so you're able to then detect where those trees are and try and find out what is actually going on with those trees and as with everything you can't make a decision when your information is isolated in pockets you need to be able to bring your satellite data in your drone data in your harvesting data in and then your counting data in your spectral indices and whatever data sets you actually have put it all together in one and then be able to make a good decision and one of the best ways of doing that is by making use of uh, ArcGIS Pro to put together web applications and uh, dashboards is the one that you see in this example here where uh, this particular client was looking at comparing their different compartments count they also cared about the health of their trees as well as they cared a lot about what the diameter of their tree counts uh, their tree crowns were because this also affects the type of yield that they get now there are different dashboards that you can get it just depends on what it is that you're looking for we're able to customize to to keep track of whatever query it is that you care about and then our management solution actually at the end of the day then lets you have access to the tree count from your youngest trees right up to canopy closure just to have a high accuracy we can give you the tree health as well as the location because you can pinpoint the coordinates of each single tree that is counted you are able to then do a gap assessment as you can see in the dashboard there are a few gaps there if you need to go and rectify the situation after planting you know where the gaps are you know how to fix it and as I said you have an overview of all of your compartments all at once and you are able to then make better decisions even for someone who is not GIS and remote sensing savvy by having a look at a dashboard they are able to intuitively straight away see oh this and this is where the problem is this is what we need to do and with web applications you can access it on your phone and the people in the field are able to then be sent to go and make the right emergency decisions or even to go and then carry out the harvesting that they need to take care of. And in a nutshell, that is our tree management solution. Please visit our website for a lot more in-depth explanation and more information and please do not hesitate to contact us via email or any of our social media platforms. I hope that this webinar gave you a bit of insight as to what it takes to put different GIS technologies together to answer the questions concerning your forestry plantations. And we hope to see you in the next seminar. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.